and Davidoc, southwest Madagascar. Eighty percent of the terrestrial species here are endemic, occurring nowhere else on Earth. This is reflected in the arid beauty of the southwestern coast. Here the unique spiny forest predominates on the land, adjacent to an extraordinarily diverse marine ecosystem, incorporating one of the largest coral reef systems in the Indian Ocean. Over the last five years, this region has drawn the attention of UK-based conservation organisation Blue Ventures. Blue Ventures was established here to promote financially sustainable, community-based conservation made possible by a pioneering model of socially and environmentally responsible ecotourism. Year-round, volunteers travel to join a dynamic team of local and international staff in Madagascar. On these expeditions, they can participate in all aspects of Blue Ventures' work. From coral reef research beneath the waves to teaching children in local schools, practical training is provided to enable each volunteer to make the difference that they desire. The host country also benefits with scholarship programs providing places on each expedition free of charge for young students and graduates from throughout Madagascar giving them practical, hands-on training and experience in conservation planning. This unique approach has galvanised tremendous support from volunteers all over the world, of all ages and all walks of life, helping raise awareness of marine conservation through a global network of partners and alumni. Profits raised through this programme are donated to support diverse, community-based conservation and development projects. The main focus of these is the local population around the remote village of Endavidoc. The Vezu are known as the people of the sea for their close cultural ties to the ocean waters. It is believed that children only become Vezu when they achieve proficiency in fishing, swimming and paddling and sailing local dugout canoes. The Vezu rely on healthy ocean waters for cultural identity and survival, using marine resources for subsistence food, transport and trade. Without a productive ocean, these economically deprived people will have nothing. Yet today, the combined influence of global climate change, a burgeoning population and the ever-expanding reach of commercial fisheries markets is threatening the coast and livelihood of these people. The Vezu's imperative to preserve this fishing livelihood formed the basis of their partnership with Blue Ventures conservation scientists and volunteers working to develop sustainable solutions to the problems affecting this coast. Prior to Blue Ventures' arrival, no data existed on the spectacular coral reefs here. Research became the catalyst for transformation. One of the earliest conservation successes was with octopus fisheries. Regional export companies began buying octopus from local fishers for sale to national and global markets around a decade ago. Octopus quickly became the most economically important commodity for coastal communities in the region. Under unprecedented levels of exploitation, villagers noticed a rapid decline in the size of individual octopus courts. Communities worked together with Blue Ventures and fisheries export company Copa Frito to combine traditional ecological knowledge with conservation science to develop the country's first no-take zone for octopus. The initiative proved so successful that the government of Madagascar used the project as a model to implement new national legislation for octopus fisheries. The encouraging fisheries benefits of the program were presented to communities throughout the Andavadoc region and prompted neighbouring villages to pursue a broader network of no-take zones in order to reap similar benefits. This groundswell of community interest in developing marine conservation programmes led to an unprecedented opportunity for villagers to work together to develop a regional network of marine and coastal protected areas. And Davidoc's village elders are now working with 23 neighbouring villages, Blue Ventures, Madagascar's Institute of Marine Sciences and the Wildlife Conservation Society to expand conservation projects. Known as the Volondriac Conservation Plan, it is a network of marine and coastal protected areas. 
aimed at protecting the area's biodiversity from unsustainable overexploitation and ensuring that these marine systems remain healthy and productive for future generations. Volondriac now constitutes the largest network of community-managed marine and coastal protected areas of its kind in Madagascar or the Western Indian Ocean, providing the blueprint for new marine and coastal conservation projects nationally and beyond. Following the success with the octopus fishery, similar studies are being conducted with the intention of managing other resources effectively. Daily fish landings are under scrutiny, with villagers employed to record the catches brought in by local fishermen. These data are then used to track changes in species populations and marine health, and to develop appropriate conservation strategies. Shark populations here are plummeting. This is a financially lucrative catch in desperate need of proper management. In recent years, the largest shark fishery monitoring program of its kind in the Indian Ocean has been implemented as a crucial first step in developing appropriate management plans. Turtle research is highlighting the heavy exploitation of these endangered animals. After awareness raising by Blue Ventures in August 2008, residents of Lambuara voted to protect surrounding beaches outlawing turtle nest raiding and targeted turtle fishing. As a result, the first hatching of green turtles in this Verzu generation was recorded within walking distance of the village. This move may pave the way for the recovery of these animals in this region. To alleviate pressures on all these fisheries, there is a crucial need for viable alternative livelihoods to be developed for the people of Volondria. Sea cucumbers a lucrative export for the Asian market, have seen a collapse in recent years in their populations due to unsustainable harvesting. Blue Ventures is now working within Volondrec to cultivate hatchery-reared sea cucumbers in pens. This innovative program is working to provide a valuable new revenue stream. Village women's associations have been established providing training and support in the manufacture and sale of handicrafts to tourists. Eco-guides are being trained to provide community members with a means of benefiting from growing numbers of eco-tourists visiting the region. A community eco-lodge will enable the village of Endavadoc to attract and manage its own ecotourism industry. Madagascar's first paddy dive masters are opening the way for locally managed recreational diving for visitors on the region's stunning reefs. Blue Ventures Carbon Offset Program releases the Verzu from their dependence on wood for fuel. Volunteers who travel from around the world to work with Blue Ventures contribute a carbon offset fee for their journey. This is used to subsidize solar stoves to make energy efficient cooking technologies accessible to local communities. The stoves dramatically reduce household fuel wood consumption and fuel expense, in turn reducing deforestation in the spiny forest. Importantly, this program also reduces cooking smoke in the home, a major cause of respiratory illness throughout Madagascar. Within partner communities, Blue Ventures has established family planning clinics to enable women to have access to contraception and sexual health advice. In its first year, the program uncovered a huge unmet demand for its services, demand that has led to expansion of the project to villages throughout Volondria. This program represents a vital first step towards addressing the issue of uncontrolled population growth in a region in which 52% of the population are under the age of 15, a factor that poses a major threat to the continued viability of the marine resources upon which Verzu communities depend. The volunteer supported research, applied conservation science and alternative livelihood planning carried out in Endavadoc have established Blue Ventures as a national centre of excellence for marine and coastal conservation science, with regionally important monitoring of coral reefs, seagrass beds and mangrove habitats taking place annually. In a time of unprecedented global change, Blue Ventures volunteer programmes serve as an outstanding demonstration of the enormous benefits ecotourism can bring about in initiating effective grassroots change and promoting sustainable alternative livelihoods for resource-dependent rural communities. 
in partnership with Blue Ventures and their volunteers, the Vezu people in this region are moving more confidently into their future.